compound objects loft in the surface parameters rollout. So here we're about ready to do a loft. I'm going to go into my command panel, go to create, go to geometry. I'm going to choose compound objects. I'm going to pick on the circle spline and I'm going to say loft. Now I make sure that I grab another line that is not in the same plane. Number one problem, not in the same plane. Students tend to put both of them on the same plane. That's not going to work. So I say get path and I pick and I generate that loft. All right. Now, uh, actually I want to move loft here. Let me go undo that. Let me let me go back again. I'm going to pick pick on this object, and I'm going to go loft, and I'm going to go with the move loft get path, and I'm going to pick on the object. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now, if we come down to my surface parameters rollout, I can hit the uh, button here. In the smoothing, I can smooth the object in the length and the width. So. If I uncheck that, you can see how I get the facets that go along each direction. And so, depending on what you're looking for, if you want it smooth or not. If I want to put mapping down, so if I apply mapping, I can apply mapping coordinates if I choose uh, apply mapping. And in here I can set the, the length of the repeat of the width and the length, so that's how many times the map will be repeated along the length of the path. All right, and uh, normalize, we'll have the normals pointing outwards. Uh, so we'll take that off for now. Materials, uh, will generate material IDs and shape IDs. And this is what determines the sub-materials in the multi-sub object materials. Its output, whether it's a mesh or a patch, uh, by default it's a mesh, and a patch is used to uh, produce a patch object. So when I go to patch, I get slightly different type, but most commonly we use a mesh. So the surface parameters of the loft compound object.